The next thing that we need to do in our application is create a subclass of UI table view controller that will be used to display our three strings hello, aloha, and yo on the second tab. We're going to create a new class by right clicking on the project and saying add new file. I'm going to add an empty class and I'm going to call it my table view controller. The reason I'm using an empty class is that I have a code template that we're going to use to fill in this code. I'm going to delete what's there and type UITVC. This is UI table view controller. Hit tab. And this is going to fill in a bunch of code for us with a few spots where we can fill in the template. The namespace is going to match the name of our project, which is tab bar mono touch. The name is going to be the name of our class. So this is going to be my table view controller. If you notice, the first place that this is being referenced is inside of an attribute. This attribute is going to help Mono develop and Interface Builder communicate with each other. Without this, the table view controller here that does not have an XIB file will never have this register line declared and the second tab will not display our table view. I found this out the hard way when I was coding this so I've added it to the template so you will not fall into that pitfall. The third thing that we can edit in the template is an instance name. I'm going to call this MTVC and if we hit tab one more time it'll take us down into the title which in our application is greetings so that is the boilerplate code for our table view controller we have a data source and a table delegate declared as inner classes on my table view controller we have the view did load method that we use to initialize the view in our Xcode project, we're going to do the same thing here. And the thing that we're going to primarily be focused on is data source. So much like in the first one, we have this rows in section method. Since we only have one section in our table view, this will simply return the rows, the number of rows that are being represented in our table view. And we also have the get cell method which is where we can customize the way the cell is going to look before we place it in the table view. But since we don't have any data, this data source isn't doing us much good. If you recall from the first project, we had a string array. We're going to declare that string array here. We're going to have a string array called strings, like in the first example. And in view did load, we will initialize that. We'll say strings is equal to a new string array and we will initialize it with hello aloha and yo notice that we don't need to null terminate our arrays in C sharp obviously so there's our data source if we come back up to rows in section we want this to return the number of strings that we have in our string array. So since we have an instance of my table view controller, we'll get the strings array out of that and call length on that using the length property. So that will set up the number of rows for our section. So the only thing left to do here is to customize the cell. If you remember, cell has a has a text label which has a text property and we are going to set that to the string that is at the index path inside of our string array index path dot row remember that index path has a section and a row but since we only have one section our rows map directly to our array so mtvc dot strings the index will be index path Dot row and that will do it the text will be set to the string that's found at index path dot row 
we have one section and we have customized our cells. We don't need to worry about the table delegate portion. Table delegate has methods like row selected, which will be called when someone taps on a row. Uh, we'll simply output to the console that a row was selected, but at this point we're not going to have any interaction logic. And since our view did load has customized things, this table view controller is pretty much good to go. It's time to move back to Interface Builder. If I double click on the main window nib to come back in here, if you remember in the Xcode example, at this point in the library, the classes section, because I had saved my table view controller, it appeared in this classes list. At this point in the mono touch lifetime there is the forward integration from mono develop to interface builder is not implemented saving outlets and actions from interface builder will be reflected in the code behind files in mono develop but changes in mono develop and the classes that are available in a project will not be immediately reflected in interface builder this is on the to-do list for the mono touch team but it's a non-trivial task and they're not sure when it will be available. That's okay for us though because we know that we can just add a UI table view controller to our tab bar controller by dragging it from the library and dropping it on the tab controller. And then if we come to the identity inspector, we can set the class to the name of our subclass, which was my table view controller. Doing this tells Interface Builder that this instance of a table view controller is actually a my table view controller. This is a good thing because that means that it's going to render our data and not the default uh, table view stuff. So with that hooked up, this application should be ready to go. The only thing you might notice is that the tab says item but we are hooking that up dynamically at runtime in our view did load so if we save main window dot xib and go back to mono develop and run our second tab should have our data back in mono develop we click debug and this will build our code and launch it into interface builder provided we have no errors which we should not at this point And in the iPhone simulator, this is encouraging. The tab says greetings. And when we click on it, lo and behold, there is our table view with the three familiar phrases, hello, aloha, and yo. So what have we accomplished? Well, in the first part of the screencast, we created an application using the UI tab bar controller template in Xcode. And in the second part now, we have created the exact same or relatively close to the exact same application in Mono Touch. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, the best place to ask them is in the IRC channel for Mono Touch, which is at irc.gnome.org. And the channel is pound Mono Touch. You can also find that at monotouch.net. 